Hi and welcome back. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the very interesting tool, SSL Labs from Qualys. And the reason that I am going to talk about this tool is because first, this is freely available. Second, it helps you to troubleshoot the SSL related configurations on the web server side. And third, it gives you deep insights into the SSL related configurations. And this tool has helped me multiple times in troubleshooting SSL related configurations. So what I will do is that I will divide this video into two parts. First part, I will take you through how to use this tool. And in the second part, I will take you through the scenarios in which this tool helped me to troubleshoot the SSL issues. So let's start. I have already opened uh, three domains that I want to scan. One is nginx.com, second is medium.com and third is cloudflare.com. So what I will do is that I will scan these domains here uh, in SSL labs and then we will go through the report that is generated by the SSL lab to gain meaningful insights from that. Okay, what I will do is I will take this domain nginx.com and I will try to scan it here. Okay, so first important thing that you can note from this scanning is when we are scanning nginx.com then we see two servers that is coming up in the scan. It means there are multiple servers on the nginx.com side which is serving this domain nginx.com and it is one of the very important concept that helped me to realize and fix the issues. So I'll tell you what had happened in that scenario later. So if you can see the first server has already been scanned and now the second server scan is in progress. When it comes to SSL, then there are actually multiple concepts that we have to traverse and then finally we reach to the stage where we can understand SSL fully. Like you need to understand the certificates, you need to understand the encryption, how encryption works, you need to understand how signature and digital signing works and all the concept. But those details I will keep for later and I will cover those topics in detail in other videos when I work on that. But this video is only dedicated to the SSL labs, how we can use this SSL lab to our advantage to fix any SSL related configuration. So we'll just wait quickly. We will wait for the second scan to complete and then we will go through the reports that gets generated here. Meanwhile, let's click on this first report. Okay, so if we see the first report for the Nginx server and the SSLFs has given it A rating. Now some of the information that I want you to note. I want you to note this point here. It is mentioned here this site works only in browsers with SNI support. So SNI here is one of the important concept in, in SSL and in security world. So we will cover this in some other topic. Then the second point is this server also supports TLS 1.3. Now if you come down then you can see the certificates that has been configured on the nginx.com web server side and you can get bunch of details related to that certificate like issued to nginx.com the validity of this certificate this certificate is going to expire in the next 20 days and who is the issuer of this certificate so and then and then the issuer certificate so it gives you detail of the certificate you know, that is configured on the server side and this is the other concept that i i want you to note because i will come back to the scenario where I had utilized this portion of the knowledge to fix the SSL issues. Now moving on further, you can also note the protocols that is supported by the nginx.com web server. So it only supports TLS 1.3, TLS 1.2. So if any client application who is trying to connect to this nginx.com and with only TLS 1.1, they will not be able to connect. So this is other important information that you should note when you are integrating with any 
external partners or any external integration that you are working on okay the reason i keep on bringing the integration word here is that because most of my experience is in apis and integration kind of domain so and the issues and the ssl issues that i have worked mostly because i work on those integration projects and then i have to integrate with multiple partners with different ssl related configurations another concept that i want you to bring your attention to is cypher suits so cypher suites is one of the other concept and we will cover in some other videos but meanwhile to understand is the in the ssl and in the tls security it, it is important to understand the thumb rule that you can note down is client and the server should have common cipher to talk in tls world if they don't have then the connection cannot be established so this is one of the concept that had helped me to understand the ssl issues so there are tls 1.3 compatible cipher suites there are TLS 1.2 compatible cipher suites here you can note down and then there are more additional details about the attacks and what are the so this is out nginx.com okay the scanning of nginx.com so if we move we can take go to the second server and it also generates the report a rating has been given again the certificates that is configured on the nginx.com web server side like bunch of details so quick things that i want you to notice when you scan any web server that is available on the internet first is you will get the certificate related details that is configured on the web server side you will get the protocol related details that is configured that is supported by the web server third is the cipher suites here and then there are more additional details okay so cipher suites protocols certificates and these three concepts has helped me multiple times in fixing the issues related to integration and then SSL. Okay, so nginx.com is done. Now what we can do is that we will take medium.com and we will try to scan medium.com. Now as I just mentioned, when we were scanning nginx.com, then we came across two servers sitting behind that. Now when we are scanning medium.com then we are getting four servers that serve the medium.com domain okay and each of the server is has its own rating if you can see here same thing as I just mentioned you should note this it supports TLS 1.3 it gives you a bunch of certificate related details that is configured on the server it gives you the protocol it gives you the cipher suites that is configured and that is supported by the web server so if what you can do is that you can click on each of the domain here and then you will get the related details it is having a plus rating like better than the nginx.com domain and the same details certificates issuer search chain you are getting here protocol you are getting here cypher suites you are getting here okay so what i will suggest to you is that uh, you can also log into SSL Labs and uh, you can try to scan few servers that is listed out there or you can have any random domain that you would have come across today and then you can scan then you can try to go through the you know, the SSL report that is generated to gain more understanding of the report and basically what sense it makes to you. Okay. So cloudflare.com okay let's scan this cloudflare.com and what is the result we will see okay yeah so this is interesting now if you see here when we scan cloudflare.com all of their servers has grade b so if you remember nginx got a rating medium.com got a plus rating by ssl labs but cloudflare is getting b rating and it might be because of the configurations that is being supported by cloudflare.com so one of the server that i clicked here is 104.16.123 so this one let's see the configurations why cloudflare.com has been given b rating the reason cloudflare.com has been given b rating by ssl apps is because it supports tls 1.0 and tls 1.1 which is not considered secure compared to tls 1.2 and tls 1.3 now that is the reason I appreciate SSL Labs more because the kind of insights that you that is easily available by using this tool is tremendous. 
and now if you come further then the certificates protocols you can see here 1.3 1.2 is mentioned by green 1.1 1.0 is mentioned in amber they don't support ssl3 and 2 and i was and definitely it should they should not support so but ls 1.0 also they are supporting and that is the reason that they have been given b rating the cypher suites if you see a bunch of weak cypher suites also they are supporting ls 1.0 compatible cypher suites are all like they are also supporting and these cypher suites are considered weak for ls 1.0 protocol okay so these are the things that we can get information from using ssl labs okay now what you can do is after this you can go you can scan the server you can see the report i want you to appreciate the report by seeing the kind of insights that you are getting from this report and it is really helpful guys like when you so so what happens is that uh, you know when when you are integrating your application to to other partners and to other api providers basically right then Many times it happens that you would come across SSL configuration issues or the SSL configuration requirements have not been properly documented by the partners in their API documentation and then and then you come across these issues where, where most of the time I have seen people are clueless about what to do with these issues but you don't have to worry about that you can what you can what i would suggest is that you can come to ssl labs you, you can scan their server you try to understand the configuration on the server side and most of the time it helps to understand what is configured on the server side and what is the and what is the requirement there okay guys this video is already going very long initially i thought that i will be able to cover the SSL related configuration issues that I came across and how I leveraged SSL labs tool to fix those issues but I don't think it is possible in this video otherwise it will go for another 10 to 20 minutes so we will leave this topic for the next video and I'll see you in next video related to SSL lab thank you